Congressman Scott Garrett of New Jersey. Congressman Garrett is on the committee that is investigating Thursday's very sudden market plunge, which I'm sure we all remember. All right, Congressman, thanks for being back with us today. We appreciate it. It's good to be with you. Let's suppose that I sold, foolishly, sold Accenture for three cents a share right. on Thursday afternoon in the middle of the plunge and the panic. Should I get my money back or should I have to live with the consequences? I think the exchanges will say that uh, you'll have to, you should be able to get your money back because this was a, a, a rare arbitra arbitrary action that was going on. As we sit here right now, we all say nobody really knows what happens, and that's what Congress is going to look into to see if we can figure out what exactly did happen. But you acknowledge that there is enormous amount of nervousness here because it could happen again, and what safeguards can you put in to stop it happening again? Well, that's it. And actually, the, you know, there were safeguards in place to some extent. You had similar activity back in 87 when you saw this activity occur, right. but the, the exchanges, even with the dramatic drop that we had in this uh, occurrence past Thursday, they didn't click in. They didn't well, ironically, I think uh, some of those safeguards actually uh, make this move even worse uh, because the safeguards at the New York Stock Exchange apparently worked. Those circuit breakers worked and those sell orders went to other exchanges looking for action and that's when those stocks plunged because there were no buyers. What I'm concerned about is because all of the demonization down in Washington, mm. are we going to now see heavy restrictions on trading? Are we going to get rid of high frequency trading? What's going to be done in the name of the average person to level the playing field? Uh -oh. Well, here's the, here's the absurdity that I... Is that too strong of a word? Maybe not. Coming out of uh, Senator Dodd's mouth on this. On the one hand, he said, he believes that uh, the markets, the regulators, already have the authority to deal with the situation in the past and going forward as well. But on the other hand, he says um, that uh, maybe Congress needs to step in and pass the financial service reform bill that's um, basically dead in the Senate right now or is slow, slowly moving through the Senate right now to give them even more authority. So which is it? Do we really need to push things through well, or well, to give the authority already there? I, I have to move the subject over sure. to, to the, the European bailout. Okay. The Federal Reserve commits an uncapped, unlimited amount of American dollars that are going to go over there to bail out the Europeans. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, I know that uh, Congressman Mike Pence has already sent a letter to the administration saying we should be hold off giving any of our tax dollars to the IMF. This because is not strictly tax dollars. Well, I suppose IMF money is. Sure, IMF money is, is to the extent that IMF is going to be bailing them out. Right. Now, I just heard, that just coming into the segment beforehand, you're saying that, that a lot of this money is really not going out to bail out Greece. It's going to bail out the European banks, and the European banks, of course, have U.S. investors into it. So at the end of the day, maybe it is the taxpayers, but I think at the end of the, the true end of the day, yeah. is American taxpayers are opposed to any more bailouts of um, our dollars. And are you? Yes, I am opposed to it. You wouldn't do this. I, I would not do it through the IMF. If Europe wants to stand up and do what they have to do over there, fine, let them do it. In America, we have to do right. We have to do okay. as far bailout. I don't know people that this is going Scott to Garrett, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks a lot. Good Appreciate stuff. Uh, I have to take you to the big board because we're, the rally is losing just a little of its steam. Not much, not much. You're still up 393 points, was well above 400 higher. Now it's 397. Okay, little steam lost. We're moments away from President Obama announcing his next Supreme Court nomination. But before that, the judge, our judge, he's going to weigh in for us.